Hello everyone, this is Paul Bertarelli reporting for AvWeb. What you're looking at is one of the most entertaining acts on the airshow circuit. It's Kyle Franklin's edgy version of the flying farmer routine, which he calls Ben Wapnoski Goes Flying. Kyle's with us today to tell us how this act evolved and uh, what it's like to fly it. Thanks for being with us, Kyle. Oh, my pleasure. My pleasure. It's good to be here. Let's start at the beginning. Now, how did this act get its start? Well, uh, actually, my, my dad started doing this act, uh, oh, I guess it was in the early 70s is whenever he started off doing the comedy acts. Of course, comedy acts have been around for quite a, quite a while, but uh, we always focused on the uh, more the uh, drunk act, you know, a drunk stealing the airplane type thing. And, and uh, you know, the Flying Farmer's been out there for a while, but we do a, do a little bit different version with the drunk. So uh, that's kind of how I got started. And, of course, this the airplane that I'm flying here is actually the airplane I learned to fly in. When I was eight years old, and I soloed in that airplane when I was 16, so I've been flying that airplane for quite a while, and basically all of my flight training consisted of a lot of the things that you see in the routine, uh, the things my dad taught me on how to control the airplane on the ground. A couple things about this act struck me. One is that it's a comedy act, which is really fundamentally different than the typical tight as a drum aerobatic routine that you see at most of these shows. And second, uh, this looks easy, but I don't think it is. Uh, there's some real thinking that has to go on there, I would think. Oh yeah, yeah. As I say, it's 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 a lot of work to fly that badly. Actually, out of out of the four acts I fly, uh, that is actually the hardest act for me to fly because it's just uh, there's a lot going on there, and you're flying on the edge of everything. You know, a lot of times whenever I do some of those pop-ups and pull vertical on there, I'll wait till you know the airplane's just about to stall, and then before I dump it over because you don't want it to fully stall through. And, you know, it's 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 flying on the edge a lot on this. You know, it's it's one of those acts that it catches everybody off guard, and that's what I actually shoot for on it, because playing the drunk and everything, when you got a good announcer that plays it up, you start haggling the announcer, and the announcer gets excited, and you know about, and then starts calling security, and if you get security involved with it, they play along with it and chase you out, like they do in the opening of the video here. And that you know, everybody who was sitting in their lawn chairs watching the show is now up on their feet, and it's a comedy act. It's funny how it works, but a comedy act can can steal the entire show because it's, uh, everybody loves it so much and everybody just, it's something you don't see every day and it's something too that people, you know, most people, especially the pilots, when they see an airplane doing a lot of things I do with there, they're just, that's not right, you're not supposed to do that or, or I always get the comment, you're like, well, what's so special about that? I do that every time I fly. <laughs> <laughs> do you fly it exactly the same way every time? No, the, the routine, I have, you know, there's key things I do like in there, like my little r rudder wiggle thing uh, I do that, uh, the whole screaming and waving my arms out the window. I do certain key things, but it's not the exact same every time. That's what's nice. It's like a, in part of that video there, uh, we were at a show that had a bit good drop-off on the back side, so I utilized the drop-off on the, the other side there to where I could disappear more and, and added more to the show in aspects of, you know, I can disappear on takeoff, or I can come back around and disappear and then pop up out of nowhere. So I, I really try to utilize what uh, the, the show layout has for me. You know, it's, it's a very improv act in a lot of ways. You know, you just uh, go with what's thrown at you. One of the things you do is to drag a wing. Uh, actually, you really plan it. Uh, how hard is that to do, and, and how do you protect the wing tips? Well, dragging the wing, it is, you know, you have to be very careful on how you hit the wing and how hard you hit the wing, because uh, if, you, if you put it on in the wrong angle, it could try to hang and swing you around and pull you into the ground, or, uh, you know, you could easily, if you set it down too hard, you can bend a spar on the airplane, so it's, you know, it's many years of practice, of practice and knowing what the airplane can take, you know, I know what the airplane can take and what it can do, and I know how far I can go with it. And, uh, but on the wingtips themselves, the airplane itself has not been modified. It's still a, pretty much a stock PA-18A. This is the a A-model agriculture version. We have hopped up the engine from 150 horse to 181 horse. It's still the 0320, though, on it. So that kept it very light. The airplane is very light. Uh, the wingtips, I've got steel skid plates 
that are duct taped along the wing tips there to protect the fabric and everything. But other than that, nothing has been, the wings haven't been reinforced, the bows, the wing tip bows haven't been reinforced. And you can even see in some of the video and the pictures on some of it how far, whenever I lay the wing on the ground, there is some considerable pressure there because it, it'll wrinkle the fabric all the way up to the fuselage. I'm watching the end of this video and I'm wondering, well, so how's he going to get out of this thing? And the way you do it is really quite a hoot. How'd you figure that out? Well, yeah, that, my, that's that's everybody's favorite part of the entire act. It doesn't matter how hard I fly on that entire act. Uh, that's what everybody's favorite part is, is me when I fall out of the airplane. And I actually, uh, I actually developed that in the, the first year I was doing this comedy act with my dad and everything. Uh, I actually screwed up on one of my... When I, when I normally when I would come in I would do a 360 and then just fall out of the airplane and scamper away well I came in one day and whenever I kicked the airplane around I had already shut the airplane down and whenever I kicked it around I didn't have enough momentum to make the full 360 and the crowd wasn't going to see me fall out and nothing I could really do so I was like oh forget it I'll just bail out here and run away well whenever I fell out of the airplane the tail was still coming around to where it was it was going to hit me, so I hit the deck, and the airplane rolled over the top of me like you see, and everybody got such a kick out of it. I did it the next day the same way, and that just became everybody's favorite part, so I started using that uh, using that dismount, so to say, as uh, er at every show. And Definitely an entertaining act. Uh, I haven't seen it in person, but it's on my list uh, for 2010. Kyle, thanks for being with us. My pleasure, my pleasure. You can find out more about the Franklin Flying Circus Air Show schedule and see more videos of the acts at franklinairshow.com. I'm Paul Bertarelli reporting for AvWeb. Thanks for watching.